Okay, so we've got, I just wrote out what we had from the previous page. Uh, f of x equals tangent theta minus gamma equals tangent theta minus tangent gamma over 1 plus tangent theta tangent gamma. Tangent theta equals 2x over square root of 1 minus 4x squared. And tangent gamma equals square root of 1 minus x squared over x. So I just need to plug these two values in for tangent theta and tangent gamma in this formula. And then simplify, because you'll have a complex fraction, a fraction of fractions. So I did that, 2x over, I can't speak this fast, 2x over the square root of 1 minus 4x squared minus square root of 1 minus x squared over x, uh, the whole thing over 1 plus 2x over square root of 1 minus 4x squared times x times uh, square root of 1 minus x squared over x. Blah! <laughs> now I just recopied the numerator. I just recopied it so you could see what I was doing as a second step, although you would probably just do this on the on the previous step, like right right here, you would just put these in parentheses and write this. What is this? This is the common denominator, right? The common denominator for both of these, well, all three of these fractions, this fraction, this fraction, and this fraction, the common denominator is just the product of these two. So I'm taking the numerator and multiply of the big fraction, multiplying it by the common denominator. That's not times, it's an X. <laughs> and I'm taking the denominator and multiplying it by the common denominator. And so this, this will go in the numerator here and here. This will go in the numerator here and here, and then things will cancel. So you get this for your first term on top, and this for your second term on top. Okay, and then uh, you get this for the first term and this for the second term on bottom. And then things cancel. I don't want to read those all out loud. It's too much reading. So those cancel, and the x is cancel. And the first, so the first one, the square root of 1 minus 4x squared cancels. The second one, the x is cancel on the numerator. The denominator, the first term, nothing cancels. It's just x times the square root of 1 minus 4x squared. The second one, uh, both x and the square root of 1 minus 4x squared cancels. So you just cancel both of those. Either of the x's you can cancel, doesn't matter. And then what I'm left with is 2x squared minus the square, wait, minus the square root of the quantity 1 minus x squared in parentheses, right? And then in parentheses, uh, times in parentheses, 1 minus 4x squared and then the denominator is going to be square root or x times the square root of 1 minus 4x squared plus two times the square root of 1 minus x squared, which is a mess, but that's the answer. <laughs> so you just have to be really careful with your algebra and be careful that you're not, that you're writing everything out carefully so you don't get lost in what's going on. So notice on the previous uh, video I had, I wrote theta equals and I computed it. I didn't just compute the right hand side. Always write what you're computing, then compute it, right? And then I had gamma equals, and then I computed gamma. I didn't just compute gamma without writing down gamma equals. Then when I go back, I know what I'm looking for and I know what to plug in to the equation. Okay, so it's kind of weird that uh, this, these uh, compositions of um, trig functions with inverse trig functions give you, give you rational expressions, or rational functions, or, I'm sorry, algebraic functions. That is, you know, functions that have, in this case, square roots in them. Um, but that is, that is how it works out. It just comes out kind of complicated sometimes. So maybe go through that a few times so, so until you can follow the big steps 
and not get lost in the details.